Have you ever looked at a piece of an enamel jewelry and wondered, what is enamel? How are they made? What are the colors used? What is the technique and the process behind enameling? Well, today I will be talking about enamel jewelry on Eterno's IGTV. Hi, my name is Niharika. I'm a metal smith and an enamel artist. I studied jewelry designing and manufacturing from IIGJ Mumbai. I developed a keen interest in jewelry manufacturing and pursued this as my main subject in my final year. During this time, we were exposed to a number of different materials that can be used in jewelry. Enamels was one of them. I was fascinated by the brilliant and vibrant colors that it could give me. This is how the journey of my enamel jewelry started. Now let's get to the process of making enamel jewelry. There are two types of enamels, hot enamels and cold enamels. This is a technique of fusing glass onto a metal surface. In Latin, the word vitrium means glass. The technique of hot enameling is an ancient and well appreciated form of art that can be dated back to 1200 BC. High temperature is required to melt the enamel onto the surface of the metal. This temperature can be anywhere between 750 to 800 degrees Celsius. A live flame or a kiln is used. I use a kiln. It's like an isolated chamber heated up with coils. It takes just a few minutes to melt the enamel onto the surface of the metal. These glass enamels take a number of firing layer after layer to build the intensity of their color. The enamel looks somewhat like sand and is applied onto the metal with a fine brush or a needle. Water is used to set the enamel in place. But before that, the enamel needs to be washed a dozens of times until the water runs clear and the enamels are clean. This is a very important process as it helps to achieve the clarity of the colors. I work on fine silver and 24 karat gold wire and foil. Other metals and alloys like copper, sterling silver, 18 karat gold can also be enameled on. Enamels react and look different on different metals. To understand a particular enamel's behavior, I make test plates. After the process of applying enamels, they are stoned down flat for a smooth finish. A final fire restores the glaze back of the glass. The enamel is polished and then set in a bezel. I also love to explore different finishes that I can give to the metal. Now coming to cold enamels. These are also called as soft enamels. The base material for cold enamels is resin which has pigments that are already infused in them. They come in liquid form and have a consistency somewhat like honey. A ratio of color and hardener helps to set the enamel right. It's applied onto the metal with a needle or a fine brush. Cold enamels are usually opaques and there are some other cool options like pearl colors, glitters, neon shades and also radium colors. Unlike hot enamels that are filled layer after layer, cold enamels are filled completely in one go. They are dried and hardened within an hour or two when kept in a furnace at 60 degrees Celsius. Since these enamels don't require a lot of heat, they can be enameled on almost all metals. I also work as an enamel specialist at Imaginarium India Private Limited. Imaginarium is India's largest 3D printing company. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this was informative.